The football team has more to it than just those guys on the field. Jordan Black joins us live now from the football center. Uh, Jordan? Thanks, Rivers. We all thought football was just for guys, right? But recently, we've seen a woman throw a touchdown pass in high school and even a female official in the NFL. But what about on the recruiting side? Women have a big role here at UNC. Historically, it's been a man's sport. Contact, strength, conditioning. It's no secret that women don't often play the game. But they do play a big role in the UNC football office. Women like Annie Martin, UNC's director of on-campus recruiting. A new addition to the staff, Martin manages all recruit interactions. There's quite a few roles that go into the behind the scene work from the mailers and the content that we send out on a daily basis um, to the actual evaluation of the prospects themselves. Martin ran track at the University of Oklahoma and knows what it takes to be a student athlete. But she says it's still hard for women to enter a male dominated sport. There is still um, a little bit of a breaking point for women to get involved in this profession. She comes to Carolina at a time when women are breaking into the field. Jen Welter was the NFL's first female coach as a preseason intern. And Martin isn't the only female who plays a role in the team's recruiting efforts. Here at UNC, 36 female students work in the football office. Jordan Jackson is one of them. We do the little things that would be forgotten. We pick up kind of the slack and we, we just take care of the things that could easily be swept under the rug for sure. And even though these women don't play the sport, they say they're an essential part of the team. I'm a teammate to everyone. Even though you're not on the field, you feel like you are part of the team for sure. Although they might not wear uniforms or play positions, they bear the responsibility of helping UNC attract a top recruiting class each year. Martin and the student office assistants are looking to make Carolina an appealing home for future star Tar Heels like Nate Craig Myers, the number one wide receiver in the 2016 recruiting class. The Tampa native made his first official visit to UNC this past weekend. Now let's just hope we can get him here.